Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to lower your ping for your Windows 10 computer. So if any of us play online games or use a lot of bandwidth on the internet, you might notice that a high ping correlates to a slower performance. So in this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully speed up your computer's internet a little bit. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start button. And you want to type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should say regedit. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. Now into the registry editor, what we want to do now is, I'm actually going to make it a little bit bigger here so you can see where we're going. And we're going to start by going over and opening up the HKEY local machine folder right here. So you want to left click on the little arrow next to the HK local machine to expand it, or you can double click on the folder itself to achieve the same result. So again, just expand that. Now that we've done that, you want to look for the software folder right here. Expand that one as well. And now we can go and select the Microsoft folder, expand that one. In order to make this side com a little bit wider if you're having trouble reading in here, just left click in between this bar and you can see a little arrow comes up. Just drag it over to the right so you can see a little bit better, as far over as you need to go. And now you want to go down to the Windows NT folder. Right here. And you want to expand that one as well. And now expand the current version folder. And now go down to Multimedia right here. Expand that one. And now you want to left click on the system profile folder one time until you have the screen on the right that looks like what it does right here. And what you want to do now is you want to double click on the network throttling index entry in here. Again, double click on it. And now for value data, it's very important you copy in exactly what I'm going to have on the screen right here. And you want to type in F. And it's very important you type in exactly what I have on the screen right now. And you want to type in eight F's in a row, so uppercase F, so type F, 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 until you have eight of them on your screen. So again, there should not be any spaces in between all of these F's, and you want to make sure that it appears how it does on my screen. Make sure the base over here is set to hexadecimal, and then once you've ensured that, you want to click on OK. Now that you've done that, we're going to back out of our folders on the left side here. So I'm just going to collapse them, and I'm going to just go back up here and now you want to go underneath H key local machine again this time go down to system now expand the current controller set and you should be able to see that I am just clicking a little arrow on the side but you can double click on the folder as well you want to go down to get to TCPIP right here. Expand that one. And now there should be a parameters folder. Expand that. And now there's an interfaces folder right here. Expand this one as well by clicking the arrow next to it. And now you might have a few subfolders in here. You want to select the one that has the most amount of information. So if you click on all three, if you have three, you want to find the one that looks like there's the most amount of stuff in here. You want to right click inside of some empty space near the bottom preferably right click like I said and then left click on new and then select D word 32 bit value and then you want to type in TCP ACK and the TCP should be all be capital and then ACK and then type in frequency exactly how it appears on my screen make sure the spelling is correct can't stress that enough then you want to hit enter and now go back down here again, left click on new, select D word 32 bit value again from this list, and now you want to type in TCP, no, the N should be capital, and then delay, the D and delay should be capital, and then you want to hit enter. And I should also note the F and frequency for the previous D word value we created should be capital as well. And I should also note at this point that I am going to show you guys how to make a backup of your registry before you perform any of the steps in this video but we're not done yet I just want to keep you guys informed that we are going to go through how to make a backup of your registry 
I would recommend you do that before doing anything I'm showing in this video, but we'll do that in a couple minutes here once I get further along in the video and once we're done with what I want to show you. So now that we've created these two values, you want to first go to the TC pack frequency we created and just double click on it. So now for value data in here, you want to set it to 1 and then you want to click on OK. And you want to go back to the TCP no delay, double click on that, set the value data to 1 as well. Just type the 1 into this field here. Click on OK. Once you've done that, we can back out of some of this. And you can also note on the top here we have the path of where I am. So if you ever get lost in the video, you're more than welcome just to refer to this up here. And once we've done that, what we're going to do now is navigate over to HK Local Machine again. So let's go back up to the top, close out of this stuff. HK Local Machine, go down to Software, expand the Software folder. And now that we've expanded the Software, you want to go down to Microsoft. And then look for a folder that says MS MQ. And you can see in my case, I do not have one here. So if you do not have the MSMQ folder, you want to go up to the Microsoft folder right here, right click on it, left click on New, left click on the key option. Now you want to right click on which should hopefully say new key number one, and we want to rename it MSMQ. Exactly how it appears on my screen, so MSMQ. Hit enter. Now that we've created this folder in the event that it was not already here, you want to right click in this space here, left click on new, left click on D word 32 bit value. Now you want to type in what we did before TCP all uppercase, no, the end and no should be uppercase, and then delay. And then you want to double click on it, set the value data to 1, click on OK here. And now we want to expand the MSMQ folder and we want to locate the parameters folder. Now again, if you guys do not have a parameters folder here, we're going to right click on MSMQ, left click on new, and then select key. And now you want to type in parameters, P-A-R-A-M-E-T-E-R-S, then you want to hit enter. And now on the right side here, you want to right click on empty space, left click new, left click on DWORD 32 bit value from that context menu, and following the same nomenclature I'm showing you in this video, you want to type in TCP, no delay, the N and no should be capital, the D and delay should be capital as well, and you want to click to close out of there, right click on the value, left click on modify, or you could double click like I was doing previously in the video and you want to set that value data to 1 as well. So again, just type the number 1 in here. And then you want to click on OK. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. I do want to show you how to create a backup of your registry before you proceed with any of the steps in this tutorial. And all you would do would just be to left click on the File tab up at the top, left click on Export, and then you select an export location, let's say the desktop, and I can name this whatever I want. Let me just call it Backup here. Click on save. And you can see I just had the HK local machine folder selected, but if you just clicked on computer, it would back up your entire registry. So I did computer up here, left click file, export. Because you can see if it had a selected branch was selected previously, but if we select all, then we can change the file name again to whatever we want. Backup registry. And just hit enter to save. And then if you ever wanted to import the registry to restore it back, you just go up to File, Import, and then you would just locate the registry entry, click on Open, and that's pretty much it, guys. Pretty straightforward. So I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.